Hey everybody, Allie here from Allie Olson Sewing Patterns. I am bringing you this video today to show you some of the process of sewing the yoke and the collar of view A of the Hive pullover. Specifically, this video will help you with steps 11 and 12 of the Hive pullover instructions. Okay, so you'll see here that I have the bodices that are sewn together at the shoulder seams facing me with wrong sides facing out and the seam allowances are marked with chalk. I'm going to bring over my uh, yoke and collar pieces that are all assembled here. You can see those also have the seam allowances marked and I'm going to slip those inside the bodice with right sides together and I'm matching the center front notch of the bodice with the zipper on the yoke. And that'll be the first place that I put a few pins and then I'm going to move down to those corners and I'm going to make sure that my seam allowances match there and place pins at each of those corners and then I'm going to work my way around the rest of the collar so I'm going to match the notches on the angled parts of the yoke with the bodices and place a few pins in between there going to match the shoulder seams and the center back notch on the collar with the bodice and just doing that all the way around until the yoke is fully pinned into the bodices. All right, so now I have brought the bodices and the yoke over to the sewing machine and I'm going to start sewing right at the notch on the yoke. Um, so I place my presser foot there, I'm going to sew right along that seam allowance line, put my needle in and take the pin out and I'm just basting here. So this is a long straight stitch length and I'm going to sew all the way down to the corner of the yoke. You can see that I am looking underneath the fabric. I'm pulling out any excess fabric to make sure that I don't sew a pucker in there. And I'm gonna sew right down to that corner and leave my needle in the fabric. I'm going to raise the presser foot and take that pin out and pivot everything over so that I'm positioned to sew down the bottom of the yoke. When I do this, you'll see that I push the excess fabric out of the way towards the back and I check underneath to make sure the bodices are nice and flat underneath there and that my seam allowances match. And I go ahead and sew all the way down the yoke right over my zipper. This is a plastic coil zipper, so I'm not too worried about breaking a needle. If you're using a metal zipper, uh, be careful. And sewing right over to the next pivot point again placing my needle down in the fabric, removing that pin, and lifting up my presser foot, pivoting everything over and pushing all the fabric out of the way underneath, and continuing up the other side all the way to the second notch, and that's where I will stop basting. And you can see, you'll want to look, turn everything right side out, make sure you don't have any puckers. This looks really good. It will look even better after an iron. And I am ready to finish that seam all the way around the collar. Okay, so we are ready to finish uh, sewing our yoke and collars all the way to the bodices. So I'm going to start, I'm showing you here that I have snipped into the seam allowance right at those corners, only on the bodices, and this is in the instructions, and that's just to help release some of the fabric tension at that point. So I'm ready, I'm going to start at one edge of the yoke, and this is the bottom angled edge, and I'm going to start with my serger, just surging all the way up. This is a side that's already been basted and just surging or sewing all the way up. Here we're getting to the point where it's not basted anymore, so I've still got pins. I'm gonna remove those pins as I sew, always checking underneath to make sure the fabric is aligned and seams are aligned. And I'm just gonna to continue to do this all the way around, attaching the collar to the back bodice. around the other side of the yoke. So here down the angled edge, 
Again, making sure all the fabric, especially at those corners, is pushed out of the way and I'm going to serge right off the end of the fabric. And I will go ahead and trim that and then the neatest way to do this is just sew right or serge right across the bottom of the yoke, making sure all of the fabric underneath is out of the way. And you have a really nice finish to your yoke. All right, once you give everything a good press, your View A High Pullover Yoke should look something like this. You can head over to AllieOlson.com to check out the High Pullover Sewing Pattern.